this video gives you guidance on techniques you could use when completing your answers to help maximise your marks. Before we start, remember that effective planning is key to exam success. Make sure you think about what the question is asking before you start on your calculations and written answers. We'll now focus on your use of the response options, namely the word processor and the spreadsheet. You should use the spreadsheet functionality for calculations in the exam. It's important that your calculations are laid out in a logical way and are clearly labelled so they're as easy to mark as possible. This will also give you the best chance of securing follow-up marks where you make an error in your workings. So do add appropriate headings and text rather than just figures, but keep everything concise and ensure your full narrative responses are entered into the word processor. It's vital that you reference your calculations in your main reports and clearly labelling your spreadsheet will enable you to do this effectively. Presenting calculations directly in the word processor is also possible as long as everything is clear. Clarity is vital, especially when preparing a report or memo, which may be a requirement in section A. Now we'll move on to how to complete your written answers in the word processor. Most important of all is using subheadings within your answer. These subheadings should, as a minimum, reflect the individual core requirements that you've already identified. Subheadings will also help you organise, structure and prioritise your points. Given that their purpose is to provide clarity, keep the formatting simple. Bold is enough. You don't need to add underlining or italics. All of this helps the marker understand the points you're making and increases the chances of you gaining marks. In the strategic professional exams, while you are of course creating professional answers, you shouldn't waste excessive time on spelling and grammar checks. And note, there is no autocorrect or spell check available in the exam environment. However, do spend time going back to the requirement frequently to make sure you're actually answering the question that has been set. Aside from the use of the spreadsheet and word processor, try to manage your workspace effectively. Don't have too many windows open at once. They'll clutter your screen and could make it harder to focus. For example, although you'll probably use the tax tables frequently, it's better to open them as and when needed, rather than having them open the whole time. And when using the tax tables, you can use the find function to navigate quickly through them, for example, searching for capital gains tax. Remember that if you've carried out your planning effectively, you'll have the main points from the exhibits already in the word processor, so there's no need to keep exhibit windows open all the time. But obviously this shouldn't stop you from referring to them if you need to. At the end of the exam, use your buffer time to read through your answers, ensuring they're clear and well organised and making any necessary changes. And finally, remember, practising answering questions to time in the exam environment and then debriefing your answers thoroughly is absolutely critical to exam success. Good luck!